summer I got the opportunity to work with Coach Pop. And so it's always a thrill. Um, looking forward to tonight's matchup going against him. But um, when I got back from Team USA, one of the things I thought a lot of people were curious about was what, what the experience was like being around Pop, being around Steve Kerr, being around Jeff Van Gundy, uh, Jerry Colangelo. And, you know, the one thing I said was Pop, what I learned most was how genuine Pop was in getting to know people. And you see how genuine he was in caring about his players and caring about his staff. Um, and I thought that was important because what I learned is not only did he care about his players, he cared about his players as people. And so it's fitting we're playing San Antonio tonight. Um, it's unfortunate with the situation with John and um, everything that has come about on this day. It's a, you know, get a call from Travis this morning informing me that uh, John's gonna be suspended. And I go back to the time spent with Coach Pop and the time spent was, you know, how do you grow and help your players? Well, this is that time. And bottom line is uh, it's an unfortunate situation with John's suspension. And this is what I've been charged with as a head coach is to help John and support John and help him get through this, not as a player, but as a person. Um, and that's where my mind is, and that's where my mind went when everything occurred this morning. So, go ahead. What was your initial reaction when you were on the phone with Travis this morning? Unfortunate. Um, obviously, you want to know why, you want to know how, you want to know what. Uh, I'm, I'm unfamiliar to, to any, of, any of the bad substance things. Um, still don't really know um, what it was and what it does. Uh, all I know is it's not supposed to have been taken and uh, you felt the test and that's where the suspension comes and there's a whole process behind it and still learning a little bit about that process. Um, but, you know, now it's, you know, how do we address it? How do we move forward? And then what's the plan to help John uh, during this time? And so you, you're just, you're disappointed, you're sad for the team. Um, you, you feel for John. He, he's not in a good place. Um, and so it's how do we help him and how do we help those other guys? Tonight I got to worry about those other guys for a couple hours and then we get back to John uh, when we're done with tonight's game. Um, but that was the initial reaction. To what extent, while he's suspended, to what extent can he be around? The team? He'll be with us, you know, and, and you know, part of the conversation was, was learning, being educated. Um, Michelle Lepwich, who works for our organization, worked with the NBA for many years and you know, was right on top of it in terms of explaining to me what he's capable of doing. He will travel with us this weekend. Uh, he'll practice with us tomorrow and he'll be with the team tomorrow. Um, you know, he's not supposed to be in the arena two hours before tip off. And so, you know, that's everywhere and everywhere we go and including here in Atlanta. He'll continue to practice with us and, you know, we'll find ways to keep him in shape and in game shape um, throughout this period. Um, but I think that's what I know as, as of right now. You know exactly. It was nearly a third of the year. Um, what's the hole that puts you in and who's your goal? You know, you got to, from my position, I got to look at it. You know, it's unfortunate of what has happened. Um, but in sport, injury occurs. And when you lose a guy, you lose a guy and it's next man up. And Jabari is the next man up and we shift Vince to the backup four and we'll probably use DeAndre Hunter as a backup four. Maybe Bruno in, in big matchups, like uh, maybe tonight, definitely against the Lakers moving forward. Uh, maybe Bruno plays some at the four, but you know, injuries occur in our sport. And so you, you know, John missed 15 games or 20 games last year to start the season. Um, different situation, obviously. But it's just part of sport, and we're not going to hang our head on who's not here. We got to worry about who is here. Do you know exactly when he failed the test? I don't. I don't. Um, that's the information that we'll eventually find out, and the specifics of it. I, I'm I'm sure it's a long process of how all of this stuff happens. I'm very clueless on what the test is and how many times they take it and when it was contacted and how I found out this morning from Travis at about 9.15 when he called me. Just to be fair and accurate, uh, what could Coach Wolf get out with Tim Connolly? Uh, yes. And is the normal process
process if they're taking the substance to contact Chelsea or someone in the organization? How does that work? The, the normal substance, the normal process is always if there's something with your body that's going on, contact Chelsea and our APT staff. Um, you know, it's important and part of this education is to inform all of our guys. You know, we have a plan in place for everyone physically, uh, health-wise, uh, strengthening to, to help them and assist them. And, you know, we're constantly educating our guys to report. And there's a reason why there's minute restrictions and load management and things of that nature. You know, it's, it's, it's about educating them to educate us on how they feel every day. And it's not a major injury, it's, it's every day. You know, if Trey's coming off an ankle injury, he's on a 30 minute restriction tonight. If he feels great, we move forward. If there's any setback, he's got to report that to us and let us know. And so anything physically that our guys go through, it's about educating and informing, not when you're doing it, it's informing to let us know if you should be doing it or what we should do about it. And, and we want to make those decisions and that's the education we try to have with all of our guys. So you said that injuries are part of Um, of course, it's, 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 it's disturbing that, um, you know, this is something that you hope you can prevent and we, we, we hope we can educate him on, on that, but he made a decision or someone made a decision and somehow we got to this point. And so, um, it's our job to get to the information, to keep all of our guys from making this decision or being in this position again. Um, but it hurts our team. It definitely hurts our team because we're down one of our best players, we're down, you know, a major part of what we're doing. There's no other way around it. We're, we're going to miss John. He, he's a big part of what we're doing. That part said and done. And now we just have to move forward with, with what we have and who we have, whether it's an injury or not. Um, but it hurts our team, yes. He'll start tonight. You know, it's a good question. I think he's at 30, 35, maybe. I think he's 30. Um, and again, the, the, the restrictions for all of our guys, it's, it's probably a good time to educate you guys on that a little further. Um, you know, DeAndre's got 35 minute restriction. He hasn't even played 35 minutes yet. Um, the point is, we're, we're staying ahead of the curve. If he, if he plays heavy minutes and he's had some knee issues, this, you know, reporting soreness, we don't want to overdo it. And so we, we, we just want to make sure we're on the same page. We go on overtime tonight and he plays 39 minutes. I don't think anyone's going to panic. It's more about, hey, there's something there. Let's just make sure we're watching each guy's minutes and where they are. Uh, and if there's nothing there, then we move forward. And, and Trey's been a guy that's been Mr. Durability. Uh, he gets an ankle sprain. He misses one game. He's back. We just want to make sure he's, he's okay after playing tonight. Tomorrow we had a back-to-back. -back. He's probably going to play more minutes if he's healthy and good to go. So... Um, it's just, we're constantly trying to inform our staff, our organization, and our players of, of that we have a plan. We want to stick to that plan. We want to educate our players on, you know, how to be mindful of their bodies and stay healthy. Um, and so this is just, this is a big mishap. Um, but this is part of the education process. We try to prevent things like this from happening. And this one got away from us. Um, the same, Jabari will start in place of John. Trey's back in the lineup. Cam's at the two. DeAndre Hunter's at the three. Alex Lynn at the five. You didn't have two today. Is there a point at which you were just a um, We didn't have a group shoot around. Every guy was had a mandatory workout this morning. We practiced yesterday, and so it was a way of um, preserving their bodies and just letting them shoot today. But I was able to address the team in, in two different components today because they were all split up with their times. And um, we'll meet again as a, as a unit um, and just dig deep into the education of it still. Uh, at some point, yeah. Uh, I spoke to John and saw John today and um, just needed he needed time, and, and I thought coming down tonight and trying, because we didn't have a group event today, this morning, didn't make sense today. Um, and so he'll, he'll be with us right back tomorrow, and, and we'll move forward. He said he took something, uh, he ingested something, but unbeknownst to him, it had an illegal uh, thing in there. Did you talk to him at all about how that came about or how that, how that happened, how he could have ingested it without, you know, without knowing? 
Yeah, I don't I don't know I know what he took. I don't know how and I don't know when. Um so today was an emotional day. Um so I I don't think I don't think I know the information yet. Um we were trying to speak on moving forward and dealing with today and how to deal with today and we'll we'll get to some of those things maybe later um, that's not my area of expertise my area will always be how do I help John Collins learn from this how do I uh, help John Collins grow from this and what plan do we have in play for him moving forward but you know the NBA Players Association is going to have to help him um, with the appeal uh, the NBA definitely um, they've reached out to us and they've been forthright in, in the information that we needed to understand what was happening or what's going on. This is the first time we've heard of it. Um, so didn't get to the specifics of that. What kind of head coach is he at? Um, bothered. You know, he, he's, he's not with the guys. And probably for the first time not playing basketball. Um, and this is tough. This is a big blow uh, for anyone to take this on. Um, when I spoke to him, the first thing I said was, I don't want to know about the details. I just want to help you. And that's what we focused on. And so there was more conversation from there, but I just want to be able to help him and worry about the other stuff later because there's some things I don't know and I, I'm not in control of what's going on with the NBA and the Players Association. Uh, I just have to deal with John Collins every day and I want to help.